You know, if we knock out oh, one of his hell. if we knock out one of his eyes and he becomes a cool pirate flirt, he'll be the one eyed purple people leader. A Lauren. Yeah. And Greg. Uh-huh. Make a reflex safe. Okay. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, that's that's on the line. Try not to lose well, your other arm. I can actually make a second reflex save if that one's not enough, because I have the I have lightning good, reflexes. Do I have a good image for this? I don't. Give me a second. This will take a second. I'll explain what's going on, though. So, Are Alaren, you creating a portal? Yeah. Alaren, you, you take a swing at the thing, and it's almost as if your sword... Came hit out a of its snag. Shape. Oh. Which is strange because you've cut through many things with this, and it has never once felt like you have ever had any resistance before. Mm-hmm. But you hit a snag. You hit a big snag. This isn't like, you know, baby, baby snag, you know. Can we get the, the stuff out of the middle of the room? Yeah, can we can we get rid of the weird poop? Um, all right. I know it's funny. Because I think Wanda's going to I must need be space. going. It was nice meeting you. Goodbye. Let's see. Ah, ah! It's stuck in my cursor. It's stuck in my cursor. Okay, it's gone now. What about the yellow stuff? I didn't draw it. Drez. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's either Keith. Drez or Durf. Thank uh, you. No, I didn't. I didn't do any drawings. Earlier, when he did his big smart roll, I drew glasses and a bow tie on. Greg, and he didn't take them with him. I didn't want them. Okay. So, oh, this is not exactly a particularly, uh... Oh, God, stopping that recording. Whatever. What if, uh, his, what if her sword just spits out something she killed before? <laughs> Ew. Okay. <laughs> it's just back or to refight a boss that she killed with her sword. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Uh. Ah, that's a bit big. <laughs> it's not ah. gonna be that big. That's a bit Just, big. Uh, go ahead. Oh, that's the about the right size. The integrity of the ship has been compromised. So, this your sword effectively cuts this in oh. the fabric of everything. One punch. Kind of. So, what did you guys roll? All right, you are you are actually fine. You managed to get out of the way. Let's see about the. See about these guys. Well, uh, I'm gonna move it to the back. So this guy manages to tumble out of the way and get to Skitter. Greg, you were trapped in this corner, and Lauren, you were fine. So this guy winks out of existence. <gasps> and it just hangs there. <gasps> this giant <laughs> rift in the fabric of everything. What sound did it make? Nothing. Oh, that's creepy. There's no sound. In fact, everything sounds muffled. Hmm. It's like when you're walking out and there's like a snowstorm going on, but it's like there's no like howling wind or anything. It's just a lot of snow coming down and everything mm-hmm. sounds like really quiet. It's deafening, yeah. And like you can hear like yourself. That's what this sounds like. Oh, that's actually oh. kind of peaceful. It would no, be that's peaceful. Bad. But it's worrying. And so... And what happens to the Void Saber itself? It's still in your hand. You just caught a snag in reality. Oh, boy. It's fine. It's just the end of everything. And as you sit there kind of staring at this thing, even the weird creatures are kind of looking at this because this is new information for them. And you notice the ship is listing very slowly. Is this thing heavy? Is it listing no. in our direction? The ship has just always been lifting. You just didn't notice until you had a fixed point in space that wasn't moving. Oh, so this is fixed. And uh, I, I'm i actually wondering, if the ship lists far enough, will this cut through the ship? Uh, probably. I need to get out of the corner. Uh, So... Are, are the are the creatures doing anything? Because I, I would throw a rock in there just to see what happens, um, but we already saw the one guy just disappear into it. <laughs> I think I think actually Skitter's gonna uh, sneak attack the guy that's directly next to him. <laughs> How much health does he have? Oh yeah, he's done. And Muncho in the other corner is not paying atta- any attention. 
He has got his meal. He thinks he is eating a uh, eating flurf. <laughs> so, combat is stalled for the time being. Drez. <laughs> oh no. You oh. wake up in another room. You have a massive <laughs> headache and everything hurts. Now. How did he even get into that room? There there is no <laughs> Here. Let me let me see if I can I assume he crashed line. into it. Yeah. Then how is there a seal? There's not. Oh. Drez? Oh, mine space. <laughs> you are yeah. You are kind of half in the wrecked remnants of the bridge of the ship you were on and some other part of this new ship. Let me see if I can... There we go. There you go. So, that whole blank spot is space. Space! Let's match it. No, I can't really color match this very well. Unfortunately. So I guess I'll just leave it gray. But yeah, so that, that whole area is just empty space. And you're just kind of floating there. Alright, well then we're gonna have to start with life bubble. So that I don't die in space. And that You're lasts feeling pretty fine. Forever. <laughs> it's a very long spell. Oh, I am missing a door, aren't I? Whoopsie. You Almost said I'm floating was... in space, didn't you? Yep. But you're you're not. There's like you are you are effectively in this in this room. But like there's debris everywhere. Is there like a energy airlock that's not that's making it not space or something? Nope. Why is it not space then? It is. It's just open to the outside. Yeah, it's just open to the outside. Somebody Which left a uh, a convenient window into the ship. I'm confused. Is there air or not? No. Okay, so life bubble. <laughs> Definitely life bubble. Which lasts. Two hours per caster level. Holy shit. I'm just going to kind of assume you keep that running all, all the time. If uh, you have that prepared, my, you at just my cast level, it. That spell, at, at my level, that spell lasts a day. <laughs> yep. Nice. Oh my god. Nothing had that duration in 5e. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's have a leisurely walk into trying to find a place with air in it. How do, I don't know how to open doors. I'm going to touch the door. Wouldn't okay. they uh, explosively decompress? Eh. Eh. That's a good reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how are you how... touching the door? Just touching the door? I'm like looking for things and rubbing at it and pressing things and stuff. Okay, so you find, <laughs> you find there's kind of like a glowing rectangle to the side of the door. Basically what ah. you did to the cockpit of the other ship. I'm going to press rectangle pieces. Okay. So, after some pressing, the door kind of, like, seizes open, and you're hit, and honestly, like, thrown backwards as air just explodes into your face. <laughs> and you, you find uh, a hallway. This only makes Here. my headache more severe. <laughs> there is no air. You seem to have gotten rid of it. Ah. Huh. Well, that didn't really work. Did you close the door behind you just then? Nah. Nah. <laughs> then when you keep <laughs> opening gonna... doors. Nah, Dress yeah. is gonna teleport through this door. Well, he doesn't okay. need. He doesn't need any. Air. So this time you do so the right high. thing. Uh, yeah. And teleport through the door, and you find yourself in kind of almost <laughs> a nice atrium. There's kind of like Ooh. a little garden in the center that I couldn't be Ooh. asked to draw. Uh, once again, I've forgotten to draw the uh the doors. This place was... is perfect. I cast soothing mud. <laughs> okay. I make, I make a mud bath in the garden. And I assume that's that's where you're gonna leave yourself. I need to fix this. I need a headache cure. I need Drez's space hangover cure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so we're gonna well, try Drez... to feel a little bit better. Well, Drez has his day at the spa. If I sit here for a minute, I heal one d4 ability damage, which probably means I cure my headache. <laughs> Yeah, probably. So I'm going to spend a minute here. Okay. <laughs> so, um, 
I guess that's probably a good cutaway time. Things are moving kind of fast. Yeah. So, Greg, you are trapped in a corner. Can There's I see a rift. around it? Yes, you can. Okay. It's it's waist height, and it's it's strange. It's perfectly flat. If you look at it at just the right angle, it's almost like it's not there. Uh huh. Almost. There's kind All of right, like uh, a, a shimmer. I'm gonna take one of my rocks and just chuck it, um, kind of around it. Okay. To see, like, if it gets, if stuff gets sucked into nothing it, or get, anything. nothing gets sucked in. You actually see the lower half of the uh, the thing that Alarn was trying to hit, kind of an, underneath huh. it. <gasps> you mean it got cut in half? Wait, so if I were to like crawl under like, it beneath it, I could potentially, yeah. Like it's like basically like waist high in the room. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Oh, uh, you better test that theory first. All right, I'm gonna. Well. This thing's kind of badass, so I'm gonna just throw a rock at the at the like at it. Let's uh, see if I can side cut it directly. The what are you trying to do? Uh, let's do let's do both. Let's uh, yeah. we got some time. All right, I'm okay. gonna throw it into it and see what happens. Okay, it just as soon as it. I mean, it's like uh, it's almost like water. There's no ripple, but like you kind of see like rock touch half of rock, no rock. Huh. All right. I aim for the side this time. Okay. You chuck the rock. uh, Make a ranged attack throw. Yeah, fair point. That's a little bit harder. All right. That's perfect. Yeah. So you throw the rock, and out comes two rock. Cool. Now, two rocks as in two smaller rocks? Half two rock. Yeah. Yeah. It's sliced in half like it got touched by a katana. Yep. Anyway. Alaren! Yeah? What the hell? I... I... I, This has never happened before. I I mean, I know there are some instances where it just sucks up enemies into itself, but this is different. you still have your mask on. Yes, I do. Oh. It's looking at you. (gasps) The hole is looking at her? (laughs) Yeah, there's a big eye on the other side. There's an eye? What oh, is it? no. <laughs> what is oh, the Oh, no. It looks I love at you. That, I love the juxtaposition that over there they're awakening elder gods and Drez learned how to make a spa. <laughs> and what color is the eye? It is... You can't tell. I can't tell what color the eye no. is? No. You try and, like, think about it and it hurts. Ah. Uh, yeah. Wait, are there eyes within eyes within no, eyes? No, there's not eyes within eyes. It's just the the first almond is the actual eye. The second is just embellishment. This is I me didn't draw that shit up. Oh, that was you. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, and so I just see the eye, and I. Oh my god, the visual of infinite eyes instead of eyes, though. Yeah, I know. You That'd know, be cool. okay. Biblical. F- fuck it. Let's go with that. There are. There are it, eyes all the way down. It's, it's like, like one of those infinite one of those mirror tricks. made entirely of cats. <laughs> Isn't there like a tool album art of like an eyeball with multiple pupils in it? It looks really yeah. fucking creepy. Yep. Yeah, and there's some aliens that have that. But no, this is like if there's an eye within the pupil of the eye of the eye of the pupil. You there's know, a just... Pixies album that looks like bubbling soup, but every bubble is an eyeball. Ew. Here, I'm pissing this in behind the curtain because it looks cool, but it's also incredibly unnerving to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's minion bot. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah I don't like that. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that yeah. at all. No, this, this is definitely the in the pupils. There's just endless eyes uh. going in. Probably. Uh, I will step to the right and see if it follows me. Yeah, no, it's looking at you. Hello. Honest, honestly, having that eye just looks annoying. <laughs> Yeah, it looks really frustrating. What did it say? It's basically Sonic the Hedgehog's existence at all times. (laughs) Oh, I've seen that album cover. The single eye with two pupils. Yeah, it's Sonic the Hedge, bro. Exactly. That's that's what that's what his his 3D model has to be for sure. Yeah. (laughs) 
I want to play a Sonic mod where his body just despawns and all that's left is the eye part of his 3D model floating and doing raises. So does it say anything or does it blink? I'm or trying to think. Anything? I think it blinks. <laughs> and then it says hello. There's no voice. You just know it said hello. Oh, so it's like it's like the knowing of the meaning of what it's saying without hearing what's being said. Sure. Mm. Okay. We've only been in this campaign setting for less than ten episodes. It's trying to shatter <laughs> reality already and reboot again. <laughs> this hey, was we have a new have... ally potentially. <laughs> this was supposed ally. to have happened a His long time Adam. ago. This was supposed to happen a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, Lauren has you... never <laughs> failed with this thing until just now. And yeah. she it's weird double because failed. she never stopped failing with the water rapier. Yeah. Who, mm, who are spa. you? My favorite part of the spa is how my sanity is not being challenged at all. I don't think it responds. In fact, you're not even sure if it's there anymore. Wait, so the eye is gone? Yeah. So nobody is concerned about uh, saving my the remains of my flesh from Muncho over there. <laughs> I mean, we got bigger fish to you're fry. Gonna, you're gonna grow. So the so the eye vanishes. Yeah, it grows back pretty quick, but yeah. Ah. Uh, still. <laughs> still. I could consume that. I take off the mask and put it away because that was just horrifying. Oh. Okay, so Greg, it's kind of coming closer towards you. Uh, I assume I can't see the eye or anything like no, that. No, you have no idea. Alaren oh, okay. said hello to the voice. So we were talking, then Alaren the just completely dazed off. Got it. Yeah. All right, no. uh, I'm going to let her do her thing. Um, I'm going to try for the for the crawl underneath its strategy. Okay. Uh, you're <laughs> fine. I, I it's actually for a point it's, where it, it's like... Fairly high, eh? It's actually moving kind of upwards, um, oh, okay. as the as the ship uh, ship has kind of like a spin. But okay. um, you do kind of get the feeling that you have not too much time before it hits the ceiling, and you're not sure what that's going to do. It's probably. Oh, I'm definitely the crawling under it. I'm getting I'm getting to the other side to get to uh, Skipman and Alarin and Flurf or <laughs> Earth, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Earth, because okay. he's no longer. I don't know flirting. what I did to make Greg not like Flurf exactly. <laughs> you have uh, no idea. Scrambling all over him. The man of a thousand tentacles has no idea <laughs> <laughs> why he might not be very liked. I've got a very okay. educational series for you, Flurf. It's called I mean, you're Salad the... Fingers. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I haven't thought of that in a long time. Just walking into you're just walking into Greg's room while he's sleeping, going, "I like rusty spoons," and then he's like, "Why did I don't know why he doesn't like me?" <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I come over and hang out next to Skitter. Greg's uh, been doing a fist bump, chucking Flurf all over the place. What's up, Greg? Technically, I shouldn't like What's him. Up? We should probably leave. Uh yeah, Lauren. Uh, yeah? I, I, I just... Oh yeah, Skitter responds to the fist bump accordingly. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. It, it's really him, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. I throw another rock <laughs> into it and I want to <laughs> see what Alarin sees. No, she doesn't uh... even tell me, but I want to see. Well, I think, I think he had already gone. Well, it had already gone. Oh, it had? Yeah, yeah, the eye had vanished. Oh, after that's a damn shame. Af after it said one last thing to me. Okay, then I just casually chucked the rock in. I did, you don't want to do that. It, uh, I, I do. It, it could be watching. Oh, Lauren's crazy. We gotta go, Skitter. I mean, on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who's whispering to me at this point, but okay. 
Uh, well, we want to get onto the ship above us. All right. Right. Uh, we should then... probably also go find Drez. Yeah, if Earth, you may... um, you coming? Come on, Durf. Or Earth. 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 Earth opens up one of these crates to see what's inside. Okay. Inside is... Oh, jeez, it's probably, like, weapons and armor. Does he just grab one in each arm and scuttle off? I mean, they're not... They're most definitely... Generally not made for Flurf. Flurf has a pea shooter. And, like, bio armor. It's gonna look real weird with anything else. Ugh. Alright. I guess I'll... Scuttle my naked body. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a naked mole rat. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's very, very wrinkly and covered in, like... Like, very uncomfortable, scraggly hairs. Yeah, that was the exact well, conclusion like, that my chat also went to. <laughs> naked I mole rat. I mean, eyes are like really freaky looking. Yeah. Well, they're no. going to be big and green. No, but... no, no. Huh? No. <laughs> well, my pupils went too. <laughs> yeah, that was a film. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> There's something deeply unsettling also, about this creature. I assume he's also constantly slobbering and drooling. Well, yeah, because you couldn't see it earlier. Yeah, they just like. <laughs> Like a crab. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting away from the naked. Wait, he can't, he can't touch me anymore. Yeah, I can. that's great. With his weird bayonetta hair body. Right, well, we're why, why couldn't I touch you? I'm rolling out. Of course I can. You can only touch him now, like the way, like a, 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 like such a weird, creepy toddler. The store is blue. Okay. Oh, I can touch you. <laughs> you found the blue door. Okay, so you find the blue door. The blue door looks a fair bit sturdier than the other other doors you've seen so far. This is a strength <laughs> check to punt Flurf. Not oh, to open the my door. Not to open the door. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. Which direction are you punting, Flurf? Uh, down the direction we haven't explored yet. <laughs> okay. So, Flurf, you ping off the wall. And find yourself lying comfortably in bed. Oh, oh, wow. Well, <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not opening that door for you then. Does he find a secret This is a strength check to attempt to open the door. It is very, very, very securely held. Alarin. Yeah? Goopy explosions? Uh, actually, this might require some kind of pass card. I, I look it over. What kind of locking mechanism does it, it have? It most definitely looks like it requires a key card. Or mm -hmm. an RFID code or something. I go to the corpse of the guy that I merc mercifully slew, slew earlier and see if they have a key card on their person. Perception check? Yep. Uh, you don't see a key card, but you do see a subdermal implant on his wrist. Oh, I... I get out the ceremonial dagger and carve it out. Okay. So you... Uh, oh, we told you not to use that thing. Yeah, all right. So you stab the body with the knife. The body mm. turns to ash, leaving you with the subdermal implant and a couple other things. Aha. Uh -huh. I didn't expect that to happen, but I pick up the subdermal implant... What were the other objects? Uh, they look to be like uh, cybernetics. Ah, uh, okay. Other parts of the body. And I put it to the door or the and door? It pings open. So, several doors open. Um, are you going up or down? Because there's, there's two sets of blue doors. No, that there are. I mean... I assume that because I came from that side and they came from that side that we would go down? Okay. Question mark? But I know that that's not how it really goes, but using a Lauren's judgment, that's the way we'd go. Okay, so you open the door to the engine room. They seem inactive. For some reason, I'm having a really hard time dragging my character because it wants... 
me to drag everything or oh no i accidentally highlighted other stuff yeah i i was having that problem earlier when i was like making frustrated sounds it's because i'd highlighted something and it was freaking out yeah yeah oh so so dres didn't crash in here this this was an equidistant point between us huh well then let's go north okay so you get those doors open and you find yourself in a room with a very large man. <gasps> oh. Who's that? that is I mean, that's historically a good thing. He's very tall. Oh. Oh, there he, he is. He looks to be uh he looks to be like messing with the green uh machine on the left. He's probably a I nice guess squid man. He is going to take a look at you as you enter the room. I also put on my mask to see what he's like. There is a whole lot of soul, but not for that body. Wait. Oh. You mean there are souls in the tanks, or there's just souls, but they're not, they don't belong to that body? Yeah. Ugh. I they don't match. Is he like a soul sack? I put the mask back in my pack. The big juicy sack of souls. So he is going to turn. And while well, you look, you were dealing with the mask. He is going to do something. Uh, Greg, make a will save. Ah, uh, that's fine. All right, yeah. <laughs> you you feel your limbs stiffen, and you feel like you're almost incapable of moving, and then you sh shrug it off. Uh, this thing just tried to kill me. I suggest we kill it. Oh, I mean, it is he a member of the Flaming Eye? Uh, he's a member of the About to Die. Greg charges forward. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Okay. Uh, even me? Uh, yeah. Oh I mean, my god. Feel... <laughs> I have a one-liner and everything. <laughs> oh, oh I need to roll completely with the... shit. I For some reason I it didn't add me until I selected shit. my token. You kind <laughs> of like charging you, you kind of like clonk yourself on the on the doorway. And like spin out a little. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is exactly <laughs> like hot. I see the door. The door kind of like shuts automatically after a little while, and I didn't see it coming, and I just like yeah. Shoulder so you kind of like <laughs> I, you kind of like uh, face plant hard enough that you like break the door and like <laughs> kind of spin around. It's <laughs> real impressive. Oh it's my exactly god! Exactly like that part where Simon Pegg says a one ladder and tries to jump a fence, and the fence falls over. <laughs> Yep. Oh Pre my god. Pretty much that's exactly great. that. Okay. So has everybody rolled initiative? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this order is out of order. Uh did we no. Uh Durf, I don't know why, but you have to select your character when you roll initiative. Oh. Um At least for it to go into the turn order, I had to yeah. do that too, and I got a substantially worse roll, but oh well. Oh, was the 16 uh, your initial one? Yes, and then we'll I... We'll go with that. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it's whatever you roll first. That's that's my rule always. It's just um, you have to let me know. Otherwise, I don't know. Could have been an unrelated roll. Well, I know. I guess it says initiative roll. Anyway, knee. Uh, let's see. So Skitter is going to do his usual song and dance. Let's see if this guy has any kind of perception. It's actually pretty high. Nope. <laughs> All right. And then Skitter's standard song and dance. Whammo. Eh, it's okay. Let's see, he's probably going to go over here. And he kind of stumbles forward. Okay. Oh, wow. He popped up all the way over there? Yeah. Alarin, it's your turn. Oof. Interesting. So he's, like, just around the corner, huh? Yep. 
Interesting. Well, I'm going to eye bite him. Okay. And I will try to put him to sleep. He has to make a wisdom saving. Okay, spell. let me look at what eye bite does. Um, I could also make him panic or sickened, but I have a feeling that just okay. nullifying it would help. Yeah. So he is sickened. He is a tough sucker, probably. Uh, right, he gets to make a, a fortitude. Oh, you picked one of the ones he's bad at. And he still succeeds. Okay. Wait, fortitude? Why aren't you using wisdom and... I, I was trying to put him to sleep. Well, um, so I'm, I'm looking at this spell on Pathfinder, like I'm going to try and cross-find. Oh. Uh, uh, like, I would like to kind of switch you over. I know you like those cards. So now it's... It's fortitude negates... You can use it one round per level. So you can use it for 12 rounds. So effectively, you can just keep trying to make this guy puke. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Uh, and it's a swift action each round after the first to target a foe. So pretty much, uh, he's going to get it sick eventually whenever he fails that save. Um, but not this round. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, that's your turn. He is going to... I don't know. He is going to... Uh, make a make a will save. Shell. Okay. Will. Okay. Mm. You... Cower. Okay, so I'm just frightened by him. Yes, he has commanded you to cower. I actually ah. had a reference picture for eye bite. What, Ew. the many, many eyes, Ew. or...? I think it's just black no, eyes. the one so from Silent Hill. Oh. <laughs> okay. There was a graphics glitch in Silent Hill where, for some reason, when it was supposed to load people's um, eye textures, it was loading their teeth textures. Mm. And then, uh, Greg, it is going to uh, it is going to puke on you. Oh, wait, is this going to? Oh, well, that hits. <laughs> okay. Hey, did my stamina recover between the fights? No, you did not take a break. This. Okay. Okay, now I got to read the rules on this. So you take fifteen damage. Okay. And you start hallucinating. What that does, I don't actually know. Does it just cause confusion? Do oh, you here have we to... go. Uh, make a will save again. All right. Oh. You are tripping balls. <laughs> oh, <no>. Nice. <laughs> With a vomit? Yep. Uh... Let me see what Confused actually does. 420 grave. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we'll get to that in a second. Flurf, it's your turn. You hear... Uh, you hear somebody vomiting violently. <laughs> oh, somebody and you also have gotten into the purple Flurf. You also hear, mm -hmm. like, kind of a loud bang, and then, like, a, a loud meaty bang. Uh-huh. I'll, uh... Well, did did I see anything in that room? Uh, what the room that you're in? No, no, the room that uh, Greg is in. No, because you got yeah. punted before the door got the door opened. Door hadn't opened yet. Yeah, right. you're you're having a nice like. You're kind Do of I... surprised how how conveniently you landed on that bed. Yeah. Um. Do my technological abilities allow me to, quote unquote, feel what's in that room? Uh, you can try and hack the cameras. I feel like I've got to go back to my sock on the doorknob comment regarding the meaty bang. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think I'm fine. I'll, I think I'll just uh, chill out here. All right, Greg, roll a die hundred. All right. Uh, 
All right. You are babbling on the floor incoherently. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. For spending the next six min Any minutes. Any confused attacker who is attacked automatically attacks its attackers on its next turn. As long as it's still confused when its turn comes. Okay, you can't do uh, attack attacks of opportunity. When I'd be get... uh, compliment, uh, contemplating my position on the team. <laughs> like, Greg has not been any help for me at all. Why would I help him? When does confusion Now you're off? getting it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mentally befuddled, cannot attack normally, confused, cannot tell the difference between ally and foe, treating all enemies, all creatures as enemies. Uh, I mean, do you really want to walk in on Greg's me meaty bang? Yeah. Confused creature can't carry out indication action. Huh. I have no idea how long you're confused for. Oh, one die four rounds. Okay, that's that's better. It would have been pretty fun to have a confused Greg right. the rest Oof. of the campaign. All right. <laughs> so, Greg, you are having some problems. Skitter is going to... Rehide and reattack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alaren, you are no longer. Wait, no. You I are... have to make will save, don't I? Uh, no, no. You already made your will save. You are cowering for this turn. Oh, okay. Yep. Let's see, what is this guy going to do? This guy is probably going to. Jeez. Does he still have to make a fortitude save regarding the sickness? Or? Yeah, sort of. But yeah, no, you're you're cow you're cowering, but you're, he's still getting hit by eye bite. All right, and he is fine. Okay, so he is going to um, jeez, he's probably going to come attack a Lauren. Oh, that's 25. It is not that much. I think he misses. Yeah, he misses. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. And Flurf, you're just hanging out on bed? Uh, I'll hack the cameras this time to see okay. what's going on around me. All right. So, you... Uh, computer check or yeah, remote Yeah, you hack? need to make a computer check. Uh, it'd be hilarious if he sees Drez in the mud pool. Okay, so that's more than enough to get onto the cameras. So you hack your way into the cameras, and you see Alaren cowering kind of more or less in a fetal position on the ground. You see Greg in a fetal position on the ground, and you see some tall, freaky dude standing over both of them. Uh, what would these guys do without me? <laughs> uh, basically the same things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I still have turn left? Yeah. Um, okay. I'll remote hack what the, the green machine in the room that the... Okay. So yeah. you know the purple machine is gravity. The green machine is life support. And oh. you also know that the reactor is nearby. There is also... You have access to the security doors so you can close them. And um, there is fire suppression in the area. Oh, okay. On second thought, I'm going to hack the um, purple machine. Okay. Uh, is that is that this one? Wait, what? Uh, well, you have access. You have access to it. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to um, reverse the gravity so everyone's on the ceiling. Okay. So he is going to have to make a it's a 15 foot flight there. So, what would is does he have any acrobatics? Nope. What's his dexterity for? Wham. Okay, so he, he kind of lands nimbly, um, but he's definitely off balance. The tall guy? And that's your turn. Yeah, the tall guy okay. is. What happens to us, though? Because we're... Yeah, all of, you, all of you guys get flipped onto the ceiling as well. Uh, With the exception of Skitter, who doesn't move. But no one sees Skitter anyway. Okay, so you guys, you guys are on the ceiling. In fact, it's everybody is from on the, the floor. Everybody's on the ceiling. Except your vomit's going to be yeah. sloshing everywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh, thanks for reminding me of that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 
Drez, your mud <laughs> bath is over. <laughs> or more per se, you kind of clonk into the ceiling and then the mud bath follows you. <laughs> <laughs> I was blowing bubbles. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know what kind of bubbles. Do you just help. continue to wallow in what remains of your mud bath, or... Blech. Wait, uh, must find character <laughs> without disrupting scene shit. <laughs> there he is. There you go. It's hard when you're not the top layer. <laughs> uh, it's, I'll move it to back. There you go. Depends on whether my headache's back or not. <laughs> no, you feel pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty all right. The, I mean, and the I mud insulated you. I you, you pretty much the fact that I'm like this now. It, it was kind ceiling. of one of those where, like, you effectively, like, started to fall and the mud kind of came with you. So it's it's like throwing a mud ball at a wall. It just kind of splatted with you. All right. It. Between between my mud bath and a version of gravity, I've definitely lost track of my sense of direction. So I'm just kind of... do. do. Uh, it's five doors. Lost track. All right, we're going this way. Okay. So you <laughs> barge through the door and find yourself in a uh, random hallway. We'll get back this to is, you when combat's over fine. or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So that was Flair's turn. Greg, you need to roll Can another die 100. Will save? Nope, you oh, need to make man. a die 100. You are tripping Jeez. balls for three more rounds. Counting this oh one. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. You can act normally. Oh. Okay. For one turn? Yes, for this turn. Or, except okay. that he's on the uh, ceiling now and doesn't know why. <laughs> so, um, fine. He's accepted much worse than so the past. Yep. 1 to 25 is act normally. 26 to 50 is babble incoherently. 51 to 75 is hurt self. And 76 to 100 is attack nearest creature. Ah, uh, ah, let's see. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, swing and a pair of misses. Yeah. Okay. And Drez, you are on adventures that are going further from combat, so we'll deal with you later. <laughs> Quick question. Hmm? I should probably look at this thing. Thing. I just want to make sure. Looking up an attack for Skitter? Yeah. Or, actually, what did Greg do this turn? Aside from recover? I missed. Oh, you missed? Oh. Okay. Um, Skitter's going to try and hit him. <sighs> okay. Let's see. And Alarn, it's your turn. You are no longer cowering. Ah, oh, okay. That's good. Well, I am going to pull out a card. Okay, which card? It's going to be the demon card. Okay. I'm gonna place oh. it on the dude. Uh, oh, you're touching? Oh. Oh? You've activated okay. my trap card. <laughs> um, what have you done? Huh. So wait, you're putting the demon card on the guy? Make a melee attack. Oh, I, I don't want to make him a tentacle well, monster. Well, you have to touch him with the card. Yeah, no, that's true. Okay, so I have to make a, what, what save or what? Uh, melee. Oh, melee? No, no, no. Not with one of your attacks, just melee. Just this? Yep. Okay, you miss. Ah. Does that mean the card flops on the floor? No, you still got it in your hand. It's kind of like, if I, like, shell, it's like this. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Ugh, that's so pathetic. Okay, he is a little bit upset. What's he gonna do? What's Mind Thrust do? Mind thrust? That doesn't sound good. Mind thrust. Sock, sock on the door. <laughs> huh. It doesn't actually say what 
level this is. It's just like Mind Thrust. That's that's it. Or maybe it's Mind, mind Thrust. Okay, here we go. Oh, third level spell. Oh. Well, does he still have to roll to make okay. see if he's sick or not? Alaren, make a will save. And yes, he does have to make a will, uh, uh, fortitude save himself. Okay, so he still saves, I think. Actually, no. No, he, he gets sick. What does sickened do? On this card, it says disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. And Pathfinder says... Sickened. Sickened. That's sinking. God damn it. Sickened. Minus two on all... All rolls. Alright, fair enough. Okay, so... Alaren. Uh, let's see. DC... Okay, so you save for half. So you take 14 damage. Ouch. Okay. And I assume it's a bad headache. Yeah. No, it's one hell of a headache. Anyway. A lot of not a lot. <laughs> uh Flurf, it's your turn. Uh all mm -hmm. right. Your gravity gambit kind of helps. Yeah, now it's time I'm to covered get a in my own vomit a lot now, worse. A hell of so. a lot worse. Okay. So what are you gonna do? And I'm gonna hack the purple machine to uh make gravity normal again, but like three times as strong. Okay, so you're gonna slam everybody into the f floor again? Oh yeah. Okay. But he's making it stronger, so we're just gonna be <laughs> all right. Uh, computer check or no? I'm already uh, in. No, you you are in, and you are all right. All right. Like, everyone's gonna take three times fall damage. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Greg, roll a die hundred. Ah. Uh... <laughs> For how much vomit gets on him again? No, how sane he is. Okay, so Not very. yeah, so Greg, you just uh, you just take three d ten damage as you slam into the ceiling because you don't know what's going on. You mean the floor? Yeah, yeah, it's the the floor. Sorry, it was the ceiling, or it was the floor. Then it was the ceiling. Now it's the floor again. So uh, everybody else needs to make acrobatics just checks. Keeps happening. Acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, nice. I wonder if I get a bonus for having wings. So I probably land wings? on the floor. Uh, you do yeah. not have space to spread those wings. I don't? Then... No. Oh. Your wingspan's like 15, even... 20 feet. I'm not trained in acrobatics. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, Go Skitter. I guess, well, part of it is also like Skitter. Skitter's just been standing in one of place course. because of Slippers' is. Of course, Skitter would get a nat 20 when he doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth as a cucumber. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, just mildly knobby. He already has possible stats. Any nat 20s at any way. <laughs> um, anyway. So, what is How this much? guy? This guy has yeah. no acrobatics. But he saves anyway. Gets fucking... <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> Maybe he's just squishy. So he doesn't really take any damage. He's also okay. really tall. For all we know, his head's rubbing up against the ceiling. Okay. Uh, no. I mean, he he is 10 feet tall, uh, maybe a little bit higher, and the ceiling is like 15, 16 feet up. Really? They yeah. make ceilings that high? In that room. Alaren, oh, you take right. less damage. You only take a die six. Okay. So, but you're fine. So This might be a big multi-floor room. Yeah. Uh, so the... That is the tallest room in the ship. Yeah. Uh, it's like the, the Mass basic... Effect core in the Normandy. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, Shell's just in a... Or Alarn's just in a regular corridor, so it's ten feet. Anyway. Okay. So, what damage do I... Do I take damage? So, Drez... Yeah, you take... You take uh, six damage as you clonk back into the floor. All right. Greg... Are you sane enough to do a thing? Uh, no. In fact, okay. I am not. <laughs> you uh, roll a die eight. It is currently so hard for Drez to make sense of his surroundings or what's happening. All right. <laughs> Greg, you take 12 damage as you punch yourself in the face. Oh, oh shit. Oh. That's, that's getting into my HP. Greg hurts himself in his confusion. 12 exactly. damage, you say? Uh, 12. Oof. 
Okay. Stress, you are bewildered and confused, and your adventure is off to a rocky start. We'll get back to you later. <laughs> uh, the, way, the way it works is I take six stamina damage. Is that how it works? Yeah. Am I supposed to have more stamina than I do have, than I have health? Uh, yeah, I, I do. Know. Actually. I haven't really had to look at these stats before, and they look weird. Okay. How much HP does this guy have? Ooh. All right. Uh, let's see. Alaren, it's your turn. Okay, so how's the gravity affecting my movement? Um, it's You move effectively three times slower. Ouch. That's interesting. That's for everyone, right? Yes. Unless uh, you have super strength or something? Yeah, pretty much like Greg, I think, would move at half just because he's beefy. Uh, yeah. Drez, Drez also moves at half. But the tall guy would be the most effective. Uh, this is going to be very he's mean. Like a giraffe. But yeah. I'm, I just, I'm going to try it. Yeah. No, the tall guy actually is bent over double. He, the gravity is wrecking him. Uh, he, he can barely stand. In fact, his strength is eight. <laughs> oh, that's nice. a number. Anyway, what are you doing, Lauren? I'm going to put down. I'm going to merge the adamantium orb with him. Uh. Make a melee attack. Oh, please. A melee? Yeah. Nah. All right, you missed with the orb. Oh, uh, for goodness sake. This guy's untouchable. Speaking of, <laughs> make, a, uh, right there. make another will save. Your headache gets worse. Ah. Uh, All right. So how much more HP do I lose? You lose 52. Oh! <gasps> Oh my! Holy crap! He just got owned. Well, he, you oh. found the boss. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Why'd you put him behind the blue door? <laughs> um, because it's the that blue was door. obviously the one I go for first. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you put him behind the blue door? All right, oh, blue shit. boss. You know, same letters. All right, uh, let's same see. Letters, so that's his number of letters. Flurf. Yeah. It's my what turn do you do already? Yeah. Oh, um, it goes faster when Greg isn't rolling ridiculous shit. Uh, for Drez, the final boss is gravity itself. <laughs> what, what do I know about the boss guy? Okay. Um, like, well, uh, you know hey, a little a bit more than anybody else. No, he is purely organic. He only shows up in heat sensors. There's not an ounce of technology on him. You also know that he's been on the ship uh, more or less since it got boarded and has been fiddling with the life support, doing something. You're not quite sure what. Okay. But he's been, he's been adding stuff to the life support. Right. I was wondering about that. So uh, would I be able to easily reverse the changes that he's made? Uh, no, you'd actually have to like manually get in there and tear things out because he's been he hasn't been programming it. He's been like putting adding. gunk in there. Oh, Hmm. He's been poisoning the water supply. Um. Somebody's uh, poisoned the water hole. There's a wait, poison uh, in my water aren't hole. Aren't I still, like, bleeding? Shouldn't I have been taking damage? No, that kind of stopped when the combat ended. Oh, okay. I, I think I'm fine. I think I'm just going to chill. Okay. Greg. Things are looking bad for Greg. That was me dropping um, some Greg. chapstick. All right. Uh, but what can Greg do except vainly attempt to attack? Well, no, you have to roll a die 100 first. Oh, right. However, I think this is the last mu round of you losing your mind. And you hit him anyway. All right. Uh, so, you, so you hit him with the second attack. Yeah. All right. He's, he's actually looking pretty wounded. Uh, let's see. Drez, standing sucks, but things are otherwise fine. Yeah. Are you, I, I assume you're just continuing on. We might as well explain where you've gone. So you have going, the choice between... We You have the choice between uh, three doors. Two doors maybe on your I'll, left and one door find, the far end on the right. Maybe I'll find the other boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's go to the door on the end. Okay. So you find... The other boss fight. Let me add them. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> I thought you were making I... a joke that the boss fight was me reaching the bridge again and pressing buttons. Well, uh, wouldn't no. the gravity have affected <laughs> these guys too? So you find this guy. That's a and... dog. A bunch of these guys. This is fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, do do my uh, gravity hits from earlier oh, yeah. count? No, they've been they've been having trouble. So you open the door, you have one action. What do you do? Um hmm. Eat one of them. <laughs> it's uh that sounds like something you would do. I'm going to cast Sirocco. This will be fun. I have all these new toys. Sirocco? So, a blast of furnace hot wind blasts downward, inflicting a bunch of damage on, all the on the people and knocking them prone. They have to okay. do a fortitude save to avoid to half damage and avoid the prone. Okay. One. How many of them are there? Six, six, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so two of them uh, go prone. How do we know the DC of the stuff again? Shit. Um, here, uh, let's My let's just make it really really basic and easy. It's equal to ten plus half your level plus whatever uh, spell modifier it is. I know it works slightly differently in Pathfinder, but that's annoying and I don't like it. 10 plus half my level plus modifier? Yeah, so 10 plus 6 plus whatever your wisdom modifier is. Which is 4. <laughs> so anyone so that's 20. That's 20, yeah. Yeah, so the two that flopped over flop over. The rest seem kind of All right. fine. Oh, that means that my DC would be 18 then. Yep. And there's not great. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, dude. So those two, those two take fifteen damage. <laughs> they take fifteen damage. Everyone sad. else takes half. Aww. All right. Well, that's literally my most powerful spell. <laughs> that's sad. Rather uneventful man. for my first ever sixth level spell. <laughs> uh, are any of them floating? No. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, remember, they're, 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 be they're all bent gravity. doubled because of the gravity. Yeah. Well, in addition, everyone who takes damage from this spell becomes fatigued. Okay. Which means what they... Does let's see. Fatigued do. I have that. They can either run nor charge, take a minus two penalty on strength and dexterity. Doing anything that would normally cause fatigue causes the fatigue character to become exhausted. Okay, so pretty much just a minus, uh, minus one to hit and damage. Looks like it, yeah. And they can't run. Okay, so that's your turn. They will act on uh, enemy turn. Anyway, Skitter is going to do his usual. Miss. Alright. Lauren, it's your turn. Uh, at this point, I've tried touching this guy. Nothing's worked. For goodness sake. Hmm. Well, I will cast... Do. The eye bite's still going, right? Has he been affected by it? Yeah, no, he is, he is definitely reeling. Okay. Yeah, the problem is, at this point, I just have explosives and stuff. And your sword. Explosives will work. My, but the last uh, your time sword I used that my sword, it was... Her. Yeah. Eh, I, the past is the past. Or your sacrifice dagger, or... Well, the sacrifice dagger is really <laughs> best when he's about at his, like, last legs of life. But at this point, I've gathered so many souls, and... How much HP does he have? I mean, he's looking pretty bad. Oh, 
Well, uh, uh, well, um, he's looking worse, but I scritched him. Yeah. Huh. That's. I'll let you make a second attack if I you want to try know. again. But usually you have to declare that before it. Because uh, that means that my attack would be a 24, right? Yeah. Eh, this boss is getting pretty punchy. Did we just take him out? <laughs> eh. I mean, there's Oh my god, that's damage. a shitty dagger. Yeah, she never upgraded it for damage. Okay, uh, he is actually looking like he's on his last legs. Which is why he's going to make a will save. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I can't get both of you. Hmm. And he can't find he Skitter. He can't find Skitter. Oh, he's actually kind of in trouble. All right, fine. He's just going to proboscis you. I'm <gasps> noticing that spell explanation, uh, spell description Wait, is less useful Wait, you mean he's going to try to suck version. my brains out? No. No. Can I really, dodge this? Really, it's like a tentacle, tentacle stab. Anyway, so I think he hits you. Uh, let me see. Is the armor class stuff? Yeah. Total. All right, you take 15 damage. Ouch. Okay. Flurf. Yeah. Oh, right. No, hold on. Drez. So, They're coming at you. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out when they take damage because uh, Sirocco is an ongoing spell. Oh. Um. Which makes it confusing. How do you how do you spell it? Spell because the spell doesn't uh, S I R O C C O. The okay. description just doesn't mention that kind of stuff the way that Five E does. Okay, Sirocco. Pathfinder. It just says it has a duration of one round per level. Okay. Let's see. Flying creatures forced to the ground. Uh, duration one round per level. So chances are... Um, Sirocco hits them every time on your turn. That could be it. Which means next turn they're all exhausted. Okay. So, uh, let's see. So they're gonna they're gonna come in um stabbing with their hand claws. Well that's rather rude. One, two, three, four. Oh, what's your armor class? Uh let me look for it. Was that twenty four? What's that? I said I'm looking for it. Oh, okay. I heard like twenty four. Uh, now is it EAC or KAC? KAC. These guys don't use energy. Uh KAC is 19. Okay, so you get hit three times. Although, my character might be... Hmm. We'll have to talk about it later to figure out what's going on here. I have a miscellaneous bonus of seven, which might have been the cumulative bonus of my previous effects. Or um, something. My KAC was 27, by the way. It's three from being a lizard man, plus... Two more from the uh, two so we, more. Or, I think. So we or, we already added my miscellaneous stuff. Then I think. Uh, well, it would be three from being a lizard man, two from that tortoise body paint you grabbed, plus whatever your dexterity is. Yeah. And yeah, did so you upgrade? Yeah, I th so I think nineteen is after the bonuses. Okay. I think I doubled up on the tortoise at some point, but that was the two, wasn't it? Yeah, it looks like if it was just Dex, my AC would have been 12. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. So they they hit you for a grand total of... Uh, was it 23? 33 damage. And the other ones are moving in, but can't reach you. Ow. Hey, found the other boss. Actually, you know what? Some of them are going to go running. Oh no, where they where have they gone? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh see. no, we have unknown locations of enemies. So Flurf, what are you doing? Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. Greg, what do you do? Looks like Alarin's trying to sacrifice him. <laughs> uh, I don't really I I that thing shouldn't exist. <laughs> I just I'm got just gonna... buscus in the shoulder. That hurt. Yeah, uh, we can 
I don't I don't think we should hang on to any souls. Okay, you missed both times. Well, I guess I don't get a say in it. Bye. You've done it. Trez, roll Sirocco damage. An attempt was made. Ah, and they all has to, they all have to make fortitude saves, yeah? Yeah. One, two, three. Jesus Christ. Why? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's more damage. <laughs> at Wait, least. hang on a second. Uh oh. I misrolled not... damage last time. Is it supposed Oops. to be 46 plus 12? Yeah, it's supposed to be 46. Okay, reroll your wrong. damage from last time. Wait, or, or just roll it again. Just, yeah, or roll 2d6 to add. Because that's what I forgot to roll. I just didn't roll those two dice in the first roll. <coughs> okay. Uh, I see, that seems like impossibly low for uh, my highest level spell in existence. So now these three are exhausted. They move at half speed. Yep. They have minus six to strength checks. That's a start. Those are probably more of the turned crew. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that's uh, that's your Sirocco damage for the for the immediate victims. Um, right. Uh, they were just doing physical attacks, right? Yeah. Yep. Ah. Uh, Less helpful than one might hope. I'm trying to double check this, but I think I can just conjure balls of lightning in the doorway. <laughs> and just be awful. Is that a way to or bar your I can have, Or I can have this bit of fun. Some of them just disappeared. I'm going to press the panel, the button to close the door. Okay. Which blocks line of sight. And then I'm going to run over in here. And I'm going to teleport okay. instead of opening the door. Okay. So it's closed. So you find yourself in what looks to be, well, I guess you don't know what it is. Hopefully but there's a bunch an of empty chairs. room. <laughs> it is an empty room. <laughs> Yay! It's empty. <laughs> he found what he wanted. Emptiness. Yay! All right. Alaren. <laughs> Will it be a problem to run towards more things? <laughs> Oh, I know. I just thought my phrase was funny. Alaren, it's your turn. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I suppose I'll keep slashing at him. See what I can do. Nah, that doesn't hit, does it? Nope. Ah, Phil sticks. All right. Well, Skitter is going to attack, seeing as you're not going to sack her. He, he misses. All right, he. I guess he's gonna just keep her boss kissing. He can't do anything. Well, first off, is he is he still sick? He is. Okay, make sure yeah. he. Uh, he misses. Flurf. Did, did they open the door when they ran away? Uh yes, they did. The weird, faceless nightmare zombie things know how to use doors at the very least. Uh, seemingly um, so, yes. Well, that's not a good sign. Is this, uh, boss dude standing in the doorway? I think he's between the two doors. Yeah, he's between the two doors. Oh, I was hoping to close the door on him. <laughs> that would have been fun, but you can... Greg also broke one, one of the doors. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I could reverse gravity again and see how much damage that does. Please don't. That hurts all of us. <laughs> uh, like you've ever cared about that. I assume everyone succeeded at the prone check. Um, yeah, they all succeeded. Damn it. Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm uh, I'm like super sunk into this comfy bed over here, and I'm 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 doing good. Actually, now that I think about it. With the double gravity, they might... No, they all rolled in the high 20s, or mid 20s. That's probably enough. Even with some penalties. Okay. Uh, so, Flurf, you're just hanging out? Yep. Alright, Greg! Alright. This hasn't worked out well for me, but I'm gonna try again. <laughs> because it's the only thing I know 
how to do because I haven't put my spells on my character sheet yet. <laughs> oh my ah, six God. Damn it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I'll be back. What? All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Bird. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Drez. Oh. Hey. You know what? Um, I kind of forgot about, uh, I kind of forgot about these guys and what they did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you hear the door open. Oh, am I supposed to be able to see them? No, you can't, you can't see anything, so oh. let me, let me hide all that. You hear doors open. You hear f stomping in the hallway. I'm back. You hear oh, another door open. You hear some hissing. You hear a little bit more stomping. And then you hear two doors open. Oh, wait. Are these nearby? Yeah, right in front of you and... Oh, that door. Yeah. They don't do anything, though, because they spent half their time trying to, like, communicate. Oh, the... oh no, they can talk. Is it my turn? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, uh, I guess one, uh, roll Sirocco damage. Oh, yeah. You know what you could do, Drez, is you put a sock on the door so they don't go in. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. So what do you do, Drez? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Uh, I'm a little spooked by my own, ah, damn it. I had a fun idea, but it would go very poorly. That does sound fun. <laughs> uh, shit. I forget what what were we moving? Like the ship? Mm -mm. It's listing, but that's about it. Probably shook up and down a couple times because of but the gravity that tear in space. We, we is have, probably we have been tear moving. Through it. Okay. Very, very slowly. Boop. <laughs> okay. Going out into space. Yeah. So, it's probably Drez. He's it's getting his pretty. Ass it's a pretty valid pretty strategy, hard. but what? Yeah. I don't know. What I'm a little worried about. What I might see out here. Okay. So you see the exterior of a massive ship, and it is moving very slowly. Like you could very easily catch up with this thing with just repeated teleports. Yeah. You do notice. There's a giant gaping hole in a section of the ship a couple hundred feet uh, south of you. Below you? Down? I don't know. Whatever. In the, in the vague Ilarin direction? Yeah. And it kind of looks like um, something just decided to cut cleanly through the ship. Oh. That's my job. Somebody's been destroying without me. Eh. Okay. I so, assume that's my whole turn. No, teleporting out or, was your move. What else do you do? Um I guess I can move twice, huh? Yep. So this is like a what a thirty foot teleport, I think. Yes. So this many. Okay. I can't actually see. Blind that. teleportation super... finds you in a uh, little gunnery oh, chair. Oh, you're so lucky you didn't wind up in a wall. Oh, no, I meant like, out. In the, I'm like flying around outside the ship. Oh, okay. Because uh, mm -hmm. I can't uh, see. I that. can't really like reveal it very easily without revealing the rooms within. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't quite think of Drez taking a teleporting spacewalk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, move yourself to where you think you'd go. As in... Well, you wanted to be outside the ship. Uh, it was going to be... Let's see. So I started uh, here? Shit, that's not a measurement. <laughs> oh, that is where I landed. Yeah, was the 30 yeah. feet. So I guess I'm there. Hanging out. Works. Not, not being... You probably teleported by, by right into monsters. the chair. Yeah, style. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that's Drez's turn. Lauren, what do you do? Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stab this guy with the void saber. 
Who knew these things from, from three months now. ago would be so interesting, so useful? All right, you kill him. He had, he had six oh, HP. Oh, thank God. And what happens when he, he falls? He kind of, you know, like... Um, like, what does he look like under there? Uh, So as kind of the robe falls from him, he kind of looks like you... You know how, like, hamburger, when, like, bought from the supermarket is all, like, noodly? Yeah. Yeah, he kind of looks like that, but it's, like, thicker and stronger looking. So it's, it's like, like it's new. It's like muscle. It's like yeah, it's like muscle. muscly hamburger, yeah. and it kind of like yeah. loses cohesion. And sort of splats on the ground. Yeah, and like they're all kind of twitching individually. It's pretty bad. Ah. Were they not? Were they not exposed to the vacuum of space when they were in the void room? No. Not yet. But that's because it was the rift was completely contained in the room. Now ah. it's now the ship is lilted enough that. It cut through the ship. Yeah. <sighs> well, oh, what was that thing? One of the one of the flaming eye. That would be a fair assumption. Skitter like walks over, bent double like an old man. <laughs> are, are I you assume okay? he's like just as. Beat oh no! You are bent. You are just about as bent over as he is, probably. Gravity. You can feel your face sagging and your ears oh, drooping. Oh, uh, what what's doing this? I assume I it's the gravity. Somebody's messing with the gravity. Uh, what what are these machines? I don't know. We can figure it out later. I like that. There's just this mystery antagonistic force that is one of our party <laughs> members. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got it. Uh, ah, d and oh. does he? Yep, Skitter fixes it. He is not trained in computers. <laughs> I <laughs> got said... it. He knew he knew how to metagame half of that. It's fine. He's just like Alt F four. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Skitter. Oh, thanks, Skitter. I, I, I hug him. Yay. That I bear sucks. hug him. Yay. We all hug each other. Sweet hugs. <laughs> Vomity hugs. No, no joke. I yeah, actually thought great. we were done for there. Great. That was not going well. His own I mean, generally, so like, you just have to live long enough for me to kill them. I just got the moment the gravity sucks. I just couldn't do it. Well, is given how is, heavy is, the hammer is already, that could have been. It's part pretty of it. light. Is Skitter just accepting Greg's vomit? <laughs> Skitter, I mean, Skitter's a goblin. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say his standards we, are. We have an understanding rock. of each other. He was I mean, born like, in the vomit. Yeah, by it. compared to home. God, uh, Greg like vomited the, or vomited. Greg is. Uh, uh, it's just like well, a actually, gross wasn't it the creature's vomit? It's, it's the Greg? creature's vomit on yeah. Greg. Creature's vomit on Greg. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, we definitely have to call this here. Oh yeah, most definitely. Five hours. <laughs> but uh, holy shit, there's one the fight. Done. Fuck was this session? <laughs> <laughs> this is nonsense. And next up, we can continue fighting. I know. Well, we aggro two bosses. <laughs> I don't like it. Everyone's I don't like just it at all. Maybe they'll leave. Maybe they'll leash. Back together again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alrighty. Maybe the, maybe the mobs will leash back to the bridge. Yep. <laughs> well, the party really stepped in the hornet's nest by pure accident. I guess this is what happens when you, uh, well, pull a Scooby Doo and split the party. If, uh, well, if I was feeling a bit more merciless, I could have gone real bad. But I think it went all right. So, now that they have one boss down, will the other one give them any trouble? Will they reach the Flaming Eye in one piece? I guess you'll just have to find out next time. The next episode of Shattered Planets.